Good morning, sir. I'm Sneha. And I have completed my graduation in the stream of civil engineering from Sri Hindu College of Engineering and Technology. And during my BTEC, I have done a major project on uh, comparative analysis of uh, G plus four structure with and without floating columns with a group of four people. And mini project on uh, uh, mini project on. Do you know the BCA application? Yes. Sir. Yes. Can you please go to explain about the BCA application? So it basically consists of three layers. That is model, controller, and view. So the first the request will uh, send to the controller, and the controller consists of servlets. And when the request is uh, sent to the servlet, then it will send data which which came to the servlet. It will send to the model, and then we get the data to the down layer. What is servlet? Servlet is a server-side scripting language, mm -hmm. and we use, we use servlets to get requests from the front end. Okay. And also, the servlet is the part which connects both the model and DAO layer. Okay. And it is a API. It is an interface. Interface. Servlet is an interface. Servlet is an API. Okay. Yeah. What is interface? The interface is mainly used for the purpose of abstraction and multiple inheritance. In the interface, we only have abstract methods and uh, final va variables. Very good. Okay, final static variables. Uh, we, we cannot have non-abstract methods in the interface. Uh, so through interface, we can achieve 100% abs abstraction. Uh, we have to implement the abstract um, methods which are declared in the interface in the implementation class. Okay. Do you have any other methods other than abstract methods inside interface? Uh, since Java, we have private. Uh, sorry, since Java, we have static and default methods. Mm -hmm. And since Java line, we have private methods in the interface. Very good. We can have private methods in the interface. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, we can't do multiple inheritance through classes. So we use interface for multiple inheritance. Okay. What is the uh, difference between abstract and uh, interface? Already we have an interface, and we have a default method, static methods, and normal abstract methods, right? Mm -hmm. Then why we are going for abstract? Abstract is a keyword for a class, correct? Mm -hmm. Why abstract classes? In interface, we can only have abstract methods, but in abstract class, we can have both abstract and non-abstract methods. Okay. So, uh, if you want to provide partial implementation, we use abstract classes. Okay. See, for example, I'll ask you like this. See, why to write an interface and a declaration, and why to implement it? In, why to implement it and write a definition? Why to take an interface mm -hmm. and write the implementation? For security. Why the implementation details? Yes. Can you do um, some example? Example. Like we have if real time example. Okay. I can tell you an example. This is what is this? List. List. Come. List is an interface. When you are creating a list term, you cannot go and create a object for a list, right? Then they implemented some classes like array list, correct? Mm -hmm. When whenever we are going to implement any object of array list, directly we cannot go and say array list A and equal to new list. Because we, we are giving the pop, whoever is going to access error list, right? They are trying to access the functionality of the error list. We should not go and write the code in such a way. We need to create an object and we need to store it in the list reference. Mm -hmm. So, if someone wants to create in such a way, here we are providing all your interfaces, some service requirements, specification we are providing, but we are implementing here. Even though we are creating an object of error list, error list ka object create just so. But we are referring to list reference. This is the interface. This is a class. Okay. So for doing all that our security, all our functional requirements, we are putting in the interface, the interface and implementation we are writing in the class. Classes. Right. So this is where we need to provide the abstraction. This is the concept of abstraction hiding the implementation. So, yes, that is one. Yes. Tell me how many access modifiers? There are four types of access modifiers: private, public, protected. And unspecified. Unspecified and protected difference. Uh, we can access the unspecified uh, variables methods in within the same package. And for protected, we can add, access the those variables and methods within the same package and the subclasses of another package. How about the same package on subclass? What is static keyword? Can we use static for a class? Oh, no, sir, we can't use static. So where we can use static keyword? We can use it for variables, methods. And blocks. Okay. What is block? Static block. When it will execute? Static block uh, will execute right before the object creation, right before the constructor implement. Even when though it is execution. Right main method also. Okay. Oh. So you have a block like this. 
Okay. This is what instance block. Whenever you created it, instance block. Then your name. What is the name we have? Ah, ah, instance block. You can see that this part is instance block or instance uh, block. Will, it will get executed after the constructor execution. Very good. Whenever you created an object, and it will be good to execute. For every object creation, it will execute. Very good. That's why. Sorry, say that it is instance. Instance, instance block. block. Okay. Static and instance. We have data members, right? Generally. There are two types of data members. One is static data members and instance data members. Hmm. Data members. Okay. Data members means variables with uh, methods. Right? Including that, we have a box like static block, instance block, or you can say anonymous box. Oh, okay. Right? So there is no good 